Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight, and as you can see, we are spectating Wonder Woman 7217, who is playing GTA the way GTA is meant to be played, randomly and violently, just blasting the crap out of anything that moves. And I think we need to encourage this kind of thing. This is really true GTA spirit that we have going on here in Wonder Woman 7217. And I'm going to use her footage here because, first of all, I've just discovered that you could do this. Did not know that you could change a channel on your television in your apartment and just spectate anyone in game. That's a, that's a wonderful feature. I did not know this. Uh, I'm sure most of you did, but for those couple of you like me, hey, check this out. You can do this. Just change channels and you get to see people. I know that the one way I'm going to use this is the next time I call down a mugger or a, a set of mercenaries on someone, I'm dialing them up and then we're going to see how it goes. They, they'll, 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 we'll, we'll set some footage of that somewhere along the line. The main way I'm going to use this, though, is to advance my stuff with gun running. Because as you know, you have to wait for your stock to build up or wait for your research to get done. And the research is really kind of the problem because there's so much research to do just to get what you want. Because you can't pick what research you want. If you want, let's say, you know, the gun for the uh, insurgent pickup, uh, the, the new improved gun, which I do want, you have to keep doing different researches until you keep doing successful research over and over and over again as they randomly select what you're going to do next until you get that so you don't really know how much research you have to do to get what you want you just you know i don't really have a lot of plans of buying the the armored tampa uh, i think there's probably more effective stuff to, to go with that but i mean i may but you know i've got a bunch of armor tampa stuff but i may never use that and this is one of those things where you're, you're kind of stuck. You know, there's certain, I'm getting liveries, like, you know, am I really ever going to paint any of my guns in a leopard print? No, no, it's not going to happen. So there's a lot of research to do. So if you want to get any of this stuff in any kind of reasonable time and you don't want to pay a ridiculous amount of money to fast track everything, um, then you can only pay a somewhat ridiculous amount of money to keep buying the supplies and... Uh, and doing what missions you can when it's it's when it's useful. I mean, I, I don't mind uh, the uh, the resupply missions. They're kind of fun for the most part, but they're not always successful. They, every so often, you're halfway through a, a resupply mission. Hello, here comes someone like Wonder Woman 7217 here in a Hydra blasts the crap out of you. Uh, although I have to say, she, from what I've seen, is she's only hitting NPCs. So I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to get on your case, Wonder Woman. Um, but it's a, but like something will come along, blast the crap, and go, all right, well, now that was a waste of time and ammunition. And you, know, you start to wonder if it's not, you know, for the amount of effort that you have to put in to research something, to get a full set of supplies, you need at least four missions to, to get just to get all this stuff. You can go through a lot of ammunition and a lot of time. Can you, can you make up $75,000 doing other things? in say an hour's worth of gameplay yeah yeah you pretty much can so this is just a it just all becomes expensive one way or another but once you have the supplies laid in it takes what five hours something like that for everything to get processed well five hours is a lot of time playing gta that's you know i like the game I like it a lot, but it's gonna take me a while to get through five hours just to get one unlock. And you know, you can be looking at months before you get through all the unlocks. I think there's about, what, 50, 55 now? That's what's gonna be once you get the, the, the tiger shark, or whatever they call it, the land shark, or that other vehicle coming out. It's gonna, it's gonna be, let's call it 60 for the, you know, for the you know benefit of the doubt. If you do two a day, which means you'd have the game running 10 hours a day, uh, you're looking at a month before you can get through everything and how much money? I mean, it's just a ridiculous amount of money. So one of the things you could do at least to help get one of them done a day or something like that is let the, let the game run overnight uh, while you're watching television. If you're watching television, the game runs and you get your research done. And I would recommend, you know, when you don't be a CEO or a... Uh, a biker boss while you're doing this because there's only so many allowed per session and then you're taking up a slot for somebody while you're watching television that's that's just wrong you know it's i'll admit i've done that and you forget but you have to try and you know try and remember just to be considerate to folks don't don't be a ceo watching television retire for the evening you know that's just how you do that but this is a nice little method where you can at least advance all of your stuff and then, you know, okay, go back into the, the bunker, you know, 
buy some more supplies, go back, turn on the TV, come back, research is done, go buy some more supplies. And you know, you just keep cycling through all that and eventually, someday, you'll get through all of this stuff. And you know, I'm not saying that you necessarily have to do it every day, because unless you have enough money, I think you need about four million to go through all the research. That's that's about if you have four million bucks, you could just grind through this in a you know, in a month, a month and a half, two months. You know, depending if you want to do one a day or two a day. Two a day one a day, you're looking at two months. And, you know, Rockstar, honestly, we have to do two months worth of research, okay, or all the work that goes along with it, or spend 225000 each to fast track, or, or what you can do is, uh, you know, I don't know, I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? You can either just do a lot of work, you know, or play the game, you know, not on to constantly try to get these things to unlock, and then, once they unlock, you have to have yourself an MOC, which I don't have an MOC yet. And then you, you can't just have an MOC. You have to have all the stuff that goes in the MOC to, up, to, to do the upgrades. And then you have to buy all that stuff. And then, once you, you have to buy the vehicles, and you do them, and hopefully you do the missions to get the vehicles and all this sort of kind of stuff, then you actually have to buy the stuff that you research. Now, I'm paying my staff 4700 a day to be there. I paid them 4700 a day to be there. I'm buying all their supplies. Darn it, I should get free guns. Free guns, free weapons, free armor, free everything. I'm paying for it all already. I have to pay for it and then pay for it again, which I think is something to do. There was probably something to do with when Rockstar said, you know, we're not milking this monetization thing, this microtransaction thing, nearly as much as we could. Well, thanks for showing us that, gang. Come on. I think if you there should be something where you, you give everybody the stuff for free if they got the MOC and they've got the stuff researched and you know refunds for everybody who's purchased the stuff that would be really fantastic that's what they're gonna call for and you know the odds of that happening well we put it this way if it happens they probably not because they've seen this video it's just not they're not saying hey Black Knight you know what do you think about this are we are we costing you guys too much money are we begging too much for shark cards here. Because, I mean, shark card, hey, you get yourself a $100 shark card. You could crank through this stuff. You know, then you have your $4 million for your unlocks, your $4 million for everything else. All right, well, you could at least set up with a full $100 shark card. You could probably get the MOC, get the upgrades to the MOC that you need so that you could do upgrades, get all the research done, and now you can buy another shark card to start buying vehicles. I mean, guys, you know... It's it's a video game, you know. I, I appreciate the effort that goes into it, but I mean, the expansions for Fallout Four didn't cost a hundred bucks, yeah. You know, even without the discounts and stuff like that, and we're talking, you know, a lot of stuff going on here. But at any rate, that's what you know. This all comes down to watching television and ways you can use television to uh, to advance things. The one thing I'm very disappointed about is I, I bought. For myself, for two hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars, which I don't know if that was on sale or not, but I did get myself the living quarters in the bunker because I thought, hey, if the living quarters has a television, then you wouldn't even need to go from place to place. You just you know wait, you know, watch television, get up, go out, buy supplies, walk back into your room, watch television. Which, how do you have a bunker without a television? Honestly, you know, anyway, you want to be, you know there in the post-nuclear environment. you got some kind of generator running someplace, I would imagine, if you have a bunker this size. I mean, maybe one of those, you know, those uh, those thermoelectric kind of things that you set the stuff up underground and it just, you know, works off the, the differences in temperature in the ground, that kind of thing. Or maybe you have a small nuclear reactor. They have those. Get yourself a small, let's go with a small nuclear reactor. You got your small nuclear reactor to keep the lights on and keep all this stuff going on. And you got no television. I mean, I realize there won't be anything to watch as far as reception is concerned. But I mean, you certainly you'd have a stack of video cassettes or DVDs or something around those lines. Something, just have something to do while you're, I don't know. It's just living out your existence in the, the post-apocalyptic age there. I mean, it's a bunker, you know? I realize it's for other purposes here in GTA. Although, you know, just as I'm, I'm talking about this, think about this for a moment. What if they did a nuclear war update where basically only the people who happen to be in bunkers at, like, say, on a given date survive, everybody else has to start with new characters, and you start out with a completely nuclear blasted landscape, only the bunkers survive, and then you have to just do this whole kind of, you find weapons, find clothes, 
you know, find vehicles, fix vehicles to get them going again. Oh, it would be a completely different game. You know, trying to raid people's bunkers to take over their bunkers and then have a safe place to respawn. I have something to think about there, Rockstar. There you go. If you ever get bored and you can't think of what to do next, just blow everything up. Now, people would have conniptions because basically everything they'd invested in the game would be gone. But, you know, hey, they should have bought a bunker, right? So now you have an option. You can you can watch the rest of this video because I'm going to leave all this wonderful footage of Wonder Woman 7217 up here. Of this is bonus footage for after the whole uh, whole monologue here as I've gone on and gone on. Or you can log into the game and you know fire up somebody else's footage and watch them for a while and just completely grind gun running unlocks forever. Which is what we're pretty much going to be doing for a little while here. Okay, well, what do you think? Comment in the description. Do you think I'm overreacting? Do you think I, I think this whole gun running thing is too extreme? Do you think I've said, you know, too much? Have I gone too far off onto the negative here? Too many negative waves? What's with the negative waves, man? You always with the negative waves. Why can't you find, say something constructive, you know? Look at how beautiful this whole update is. You know? Say something righteous for a change. But, um... <laughs> Just channeling oddball. But you can watch that footage. You can watch this footage. You can grind some stuff out here. But for right now, I'm just going to leave you with a, with a little bit of Wonder Woman here. I think we have to set her off here with a little bit of Wonder Woman theme music here. Let's go a cappella. Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Da -da -dun -da -da. All the world is running from you and the weapons you possess. Slaughtering innocents, those police can't get bent. Looks like you really are a bit of a handful, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Okay, there's enough of that. Enough 70s for you, gang. This is the Black Knight. Have a great night.
Have to break through a windshield. Cunning Stunt Academy is set.